My name is Francois and I'm the one on the case. We don't know very much so far, except that Professor Jeff Webb was having a research retreat yesterday at his place. In the morning, we found Professor Bing Liu's body in the study. Apparently, yesterday night, they had what they call the quiet academic party. And you know academics, pretty unreliable, so I'm gonna have to rely on forensics. So we found Professor Liu's body in the study. But there is blood a bit everywhere, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, and in the living room as well. Let's look at the forensics. This is Rebecca from the lab. So the body was found in the study, but it doesn't seem like that was the scene of the crime. The bathroom and living room are clean as well. But in the kitchen, well they tried to clean it up, but I found blood traces everywhere. I'd say that's where it happened. I'm just back from Jeff's place. I decided to go back and go to the kitchen to check if I could find any possible weapon. We have a wood knife, a bread knife, and a butcher knife. Yeah, so for the weapons you dropped by the lab, this is pretty clear cut. There was blood on the wooden knife, but it was just spatter, and the bread knife was clean. The butcher's knife though, that matched perfectly. So, it happened with the butcher knife in the kitchen. I've checked the prints and only two suspects are remaining. Professor Webb and Professor Hutals. Now, I've asked forensics to compare the DNA found on Professor Liu's body and compare it with the swabs taken on Professor Webb and Professor Hutals. I just got the DNA results from your swabs. Huge news. Jeff is cleared. Bard is your guy. P-value 0.02. Cheers, mate. So, I was just on the phone with Professor Holm. With all these tests we've done, he says we definitely have to correct for multiple testing. So here we are with the Holm correction. So first the kitchen. We have 0.05 divided by 9, which is indeed greater than 0.001. So we can reject the null hypothesis and state that it happened in the kitchen. Then for the butcher knife, we have 0.05 divided by 8, which is greater than 0.002. So again, we can confirm that the crime happened with the butcher knife. Now down to Professor Hutals. So with the home correction, we do not have enough to convince the jury beyond reasonable doubt. But wait, is the home correction the best we can do? After all, why are we correcting for nine tests for the kitchen while there were only four locations? It seems to me that it's a case of hypothesis cascade. 